control. Step inside of the what is up guys, Levi Peterson here, back at it with another video. Today, since I'm starting up my saltwater tank, I'm going to do a video on the top 10 saltwater fish for beginners. So let's go ahead and get to it. Racking it up at number one, we have the clownfish, or anemone fish. A lot of people say clownfish because it's easier to say. There's many different varieties of these guys in the world. Um, the most common one is probably the Priscilla or Ocellaris clownfish. Just the simple Nemo colors like everyone wants. Next up, coming in at number two, we have the clown goby. These guys come in multiple different varieties and will add color to your tank and are simply easy to keep. And they are rel relatively cheap. So that's why they're one of the beginner fish. Number three, we have the fire goby or the fire fish, whatever you'd like to call it. It has a unique dorsal fin and is very peaceful and easy to keep. That is why it's racking on at number three on our list today. Coming in at number four, we have the bicolor blunny. It's obviously in the blunny family. Um, there's lots of other colorful blennies out there. This guy looks like a lawnmower blenny, just cut in half. It has purple and yellow or purple and orange. They kind of vary, like there's a little bit of variety. They come in different colors and everything. That is why they're a beginner's fish because they're easy to keep. And then coming in at number five, we have the Royal Grama. This guy can tend to be a little territorial as you're watching. The yellow watchman goby is kind of getting a little picky with them. Um, but other than that, they are very easy to keep and are peaceful for the most part. And they are reef safe, so that's a plus. So that is why this guy's coming in at number five on our list today. Next up, we have a reef safe wrasse, cheaper wrasse than most wrasses because most wrasses are really expensive and most wrasses are not reef safe. But there's a couple in there and this is one of them. Some wrasses are known for picking at corals and everything and being a little bit aggressive but this guy's not this guy will add some color to your tank and he's peaceful and he's reef safe so that's three pluses right there it's relatively cheap and everything that is why he's considered a beginner fish today next up we got the flame angel fish this guy adds so much color to your tank but you do have to be careful in a reef because they can be known to peck at corals and everything and ruin corals so just keep a close eye on them He's not too expensive, and that is why he's on our beginner's list today. Coming in at number eight, we got the banded coral shrimp. These guys are a little fragile. They are known to lose claws during transportation and everything. They will come back, um, but they are relatively easy to keep. The scraps on the ground and everything, just, they're kind of a good cleanup crew. They help clean your fish and everything and get parasites off. So that is a definite plus, and they are easy to keep. So that is why he's coming in at number eight on our list today. Coming in at number nine, I wanted to throw a tang on here because tangs are so beautiful and this guy is relatively easy to keep. The Hawaiian yellow tang is one of the smaller tangs, it doesn't get too big, but I would recommend a 75 gallon or bigger because they love to swim. Um, in the wild they like to school, but they do good by themselves in a tank. Um, other than that, they are super easy to keep and that's why they're coming in at number nine. And plus, I just wanted to add a tang to our video. Coming in at number 10, we have the Emerald Crab. This guy will add some color. Most people get bored with their crabs because they're not very colorful, or they get hermit crabs and they're not very satisfied. You can get a good colony of these crabs in your tank. Some can tend to be pinkish colored, but most of the time they're all green and they are very beautiful and add lots of color to your tank. That is why he's coming in at number 10 today. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just kind of wanted to give everyone a view on the top 10 beginner fish for saltwater. Because soon I'm setting up my saltwater. It's mostly set up. I'm just waiting on the pump. We'll start pumping the saltwater in and get it cycling. Because I'm super excited. And most of those beginner fish I'm actually going to get. Um, I left it kind of more an open scenery. So I could have a tang in here. There's plenty of room to swim around. And then I'm getting a couple clownfish. And definitely getting a bicolor blunny. Um, I got some hiding spots over here for some clown gobies and everything. And eventually I want to stick an anemone right center there. That hole right there, I'm planning on putting a feather duster eventually. But I'm going to need a protein skimmer and all that. So that's going to come later. But other than that, I hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, I wanted to give you an overview of the top 10 beginner saltwater fish. If you ever plan on setting up a saltwater tank or anything. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to be the fish. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. You turn toward me and look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie